Hi everyone, I have another clutch gameplay here and I'll just get right into it. Uh, I tried to put it in ascending difficulty, uh, some of them aren't, but uh, let's get right to it. So I dodge an ink here, lucky with the roll. I'm left with a 3v1 after killing that guy. If you've no noticed, I like to go to the church a lot when I'm in these situations, just because nades and instants are really helpful. And there's a lot of uh, space uh, and cover for me to maneuver around. I got lucky uh, with the instance. The first one was lucky. Um, I had to throw it when he four pointed me because uh, I was weak and I couldn't have him push me. This guy had his digger out, which is why I was able to push out. Uh, e even though he did switch to his shotgun, his aim wasn't on point, and I got a nice easy final kill on him. I just quickly took off the bot's head there, but this is a ranked match. Somebody just quit. Uh, now I'm left with a 3v1, and you're going to see that I start moving around a lot. I'm very fidgety. Uh, this might not be the best but uh in the case that i was in i was up against a sniper and i didn't want a sniper to nick me or take my head off because that would destroy my chances of uh clutching right away you can see the sniper almost hit me there so i get really in their faces uh with fast movements and i was able to take them i wanted to take off the sniper's head with a bull talk but i wasn't able to so i went for boom in a lot of my clutches you'll see when i go down to 1v1s i go for a power weapon because there's no sense in taking a 1v1 when you don't have any advantages i use the boom shots to push him back out of the tower they weren't the best booms but they still got the job done and i saved one uh he should have ran to the tower but instead he decided to stay here and i saw him run and just by uh seeing his movement i could predict where he was gonna be here I'm going to be left with uh, a 4 on 1. One guy is AFK though, I didn't know this until later. I'm trying to spot one, or uh, pick one off, I see this guy right here. I wanted to save my instant, so I tried taking him out with my Lancer. Uh, he charges his torque, so that was not going to work. I used my instant because he was taking cover, which makes it uh, an easy throw for me. And I managed to pick up his torque bow. It only has one shot in it, but in situations like these, any uh, thing you can get will really help. And I put it to use here. I pick off the guy with the sawed off. And I get an easy body on this guy. If at this point, the last guy hasn't been putting any pressure on you, you should check spawn. Because uh, when all the attention is on you, uh, most players will, will be active. So there's an easy kill there. Here's a 4v1. The first kill is uh, super easy. I just use ink and uh, he probably couldn't see me because I had an elevation. I see this guy right in front and I want to pick him off, but I can't really push there. So what I do is I fake and I run to the side hoping that he'll chase me seeing as how I'm the last guy. Sure enough, it works. And as much as I don't like the mantle kick, I, tr uh, I trusted it there because he had a saw it off and I didn't want to get too close. I'm left with a 2v1 now, and these guys uh, are keeping their distance. When they're keeping their distance, there's no reason you can't fire back. So you can see that I'm keeping the pressure on them, and, and that uh, makes it a little bit more difficult for them. If you, A lot of people tend to just have their shotguns out uh, in these situations, and that's not necessarily the best thing to do. They split up, uh, which was not smart because they let me have an ink and I was able to pick off the one guy. And once again, now I'm going to go for a power weapon. I go for Digger, and I uh, chase him down. I'm not sure if this Digger did any damage, but it definitely flushed him out, and he was running, which makes it uh, an easy final kill for myself. Okay. Next clutch. What is it? Old Town? Yes. So my teammate died, but I mapped two, grena uh, two grenades over him before he did, uh, which puts it down to a 2v1 for me. This is still a little bit difficult because I don't want them to corner me, so I'm trying to pick one off. I saw the one guy there, so I decided to take high grounds, hoping the other guy would be there. He wasn't, but now you can see I have a nice vantage point for either side if they decide to push me. Sure enough, this guy tries to push me, and I get the easy shot. I, I had a clear line of sight before he even knew I was there, which makes it easy. I pushed this guy without anything because he was messing around with a sniper the whole... Uh, match so I was confident that I could take him. Uh, you can see right there He's just messing around with the sniper. So I got in close and I uh, managed to pick him off This is the last clutch probably the hardest I I pick this guy off and then I'm gonna be left with a 4v1 I get out of here because this is just not a good place to hold out and my first instinct is to go for grenades because four people is just too much Unfortunately nades weren't up to help me. So I'm gonna work with what I have I have the right hand here and I managed to get this guy super weak I didn't kill him, but I capitalize on the opportunity and I take him out and you're gonna see me flee over to the spawn because I, I don't want them to uh, sandwich me in here 
and I'm about to work the right hand. If I did not have right hand advantage, I would have been done here. I wanted to push out, but I heard he had his teammate with him, and now I'm fighting off too. He rolled, which made it easy for me to predict where he was going to go. Meat shields are super helpful in clutches. I didn't necessarily need it that much here, but uh, in, in most situations, you do. That guy uh, got really weak for my pistol, so I pushed. The guy with the mortar wasn't really covering him, which gives me an opportunity. And now you're going to see for the final kill, I just uh, grab whatever weapons I can. I'm not even going to end up need, uh, needing to use Torque Bow because I threw my gr grenades just right and got the easy kill. And that is about it for this episode, so I just want to thank you guys for watching, and see you later.